thought it was a good performance. I thought uh, attitude was was where it needed to be today, especially especially in the in the weather that presented itself. So yeah, we're pleased. And have you ever played in conditions like that? Just how tough was it? Yeah, it was tough. Obviously, I think everybody could see that. Um, it was unpredictable. So uh, for us to stay at it for 80 minutes, I thought it was good. And a week off to prepare for Ireland. How much more do you think is to come from this team? How big is that Ireland game now? Oh, we'll look. We'll look to get better. We'll look to improve, um, as we did as we did this week. Um, there'll, there'll still be a lot of, a lot that we can do better. So we'll look forward to doing that. Yeah, superbly, really good leadership of the team. You know, today was a test of leadership, how your team was able to adapt to the conditions, and I thought our leadership was absolutely outstanding. Standing and started with the bloke to my left. You know, Tom and, and uh, Sam were both disappointed with their performance last week, probably just a little bit off the pace last week, but this week they were right on it, and, and both of them were significant contributors. And uh, Ludnam did well, and Courtney in sixth. We got a good 80 minutes out of those two. And Eddie, got two home games now, does it feel like you're ready to push on and got this result? Well, the only thing we have to worry about is the Island game. You know, that's the only thing we have to worry about. So we'll worry about that. What's the plan for next week? Um, we're training in, at, uh, in the city. Uh, so we're in at Kensington. Light day on Wednesday. Do a little bit of tactical stuff on Thursday and then Friday we'll have a good hit out. I think we're having an open session at Twickenham. You looking forward to the Challenge of Ireland? Two wins from two for that? Uh, yeah, no, very much so. Uh, you know, they're a good team, have been for a long time. Um, you know, they didn't have the World Cup they would have liked, um, but they've been probably the outstanding team of Europe for the last three years. So. We've got a reasonable record against them recently, but we know they'll prepare well for the game and they'll come with some different different facets to their game. So we'll need to prepare well. And in terms of the Six Nations campaign now, it's back on track, isn't it? Right back in it. Uh, well, all we have to worry about is the Ireland game. Owen, how far back would you have to go to have played in such difficult conditions? Uh, I'm not sure. Not sure. We've definitely played in games like that before. Um, maybe not as gusty as it, as it was as it was here today, but uh, probably probably not as many at international level. Uh, it's, it's probably a bit a bit more rare that you get that type of weather, especially wind-wise, coming in 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 the big stadiums that you're playing during internationals. Um, probably not as much in probably. A bit more happens in, in club in club rugby, so um, everybody's everybody's played in it before and and thought people adapted well uh, during the game and, and knew what they did and, and stuck to it. It was, it was a tough a tough test match. It was a tough, well fought test match. I don't think you can take away from that and and uh, and the the weather made it that at times. Um, I don't. I don't know what it was like to watch. It's, it's different. It's different to play, and then then it is to sit back and watch it. You'd have to ask someone else that. But to play, and you, do you like that that unusual challenge? That's... Well, it was different. Yeah. Um, I think a f I think a few more players would have liked to have touched the ball more during mm -hmm. today. But um, it is what it was. It is what it is. We we dealt with what was in front of us, and and I thought we did that well.